Hey guys, electricity in tube amps can be dangerous and deadly. Please take the time to pause this and read the safety warning and please be safe. All right, thanks for tuning back in. If uh, you've been following this video series along, then you know the build is complete and uh, we're going to do a sound test. If you're just tuning in, uh, this, is, this amp is an amp that I built uh, from a kit. It's a 5F1 circuit, which is a Fender Champ from Stumac.com. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty easy build. And in this uh, video, we're going to do some uh, sound check tests. Uh, I'm using my Strat American Deluxe uh, with no pedals, just straight into the instrument. And we'll do some sound tests. And uh, at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you some of my impressions of the kit and uh, some of my final thoughts. So we'll go straight into the sound test. Okay, let's start the test off. Uh, we'll start out, I'm on uh, going into instrument selector one on the amp. Uh, I got the volume slash tone at, uh, at 12 o'clock, which is I think between, uh, right between the six and the seven. And uh, I'm starting out um, on the bridge pickup. So here's what it sounds like. And, oh, and, and the amp, I'm, I'm just using a uh, passive um, mic that's uh, on my headset, but uh, it's a pretty decent quality mic, so hopefully it uh, sounds pretty good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, s switch it to the neck pickup all right now I'm gonna switch jacks from uh, one into two and go back to the bridge pickup to bridge or neck rather it sounds like the uh, neck pickups are a little bit uh, louder than than on the bridge and uh, now I'm gonna go back into instrument selector one and I'm gonna turn the amp up. I'm gonna turn it up to, to nine, which is about 70%. So back on first instrument uh, jack, got the volume pot on 10 on the guitar and I'm on the bridge pickup. Switching up to the to the neck. All right, switching over to the second jack on the instrument. Back to the bridge. the neck
sounding pretty good, but I'm noticing uh, my it sounds a little bit lighter on the uh, the bridge pickup, and I think it's just my bridge pickup on my guitar is uh, wound a little bit not as hot as uh, as my neck. And now, just for fun, I'm gonna try to turn it all the way up, peg it out, and see what kind of tones we get. I'm still on the uh, the neck. <laughs> this thing dialed out and I'm sitting right in front of it and uh, it's a little loud but uh, it's it's not obscene it's like it's not uncomfortable it's just getting to that borderline where it could be uncomfortable and uh, you're starting to get some nice tube breakup and distortion out of it which is I think why these are so were used by uh, so many great artists when they were back when they came out you know 50 60 years ago and were recorded with uh, some of the greats and uh, you just get some really good tones out of it. And if you're looking for an amp that uh, is in a you know small setting like a college dorm or apartment or just something that you want to be able to play in your house without having to invest in getting an attenuator to 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 make a 50 or 100 watt amp you know even bearable, uh, this is a a great way to do it. You know it's a, a lot, it's a good amp with a lot of history sounds really good you get some decent cleans some good breakup out of it naturally and one of my favorite things about it is very simple so some of the tones you really can't shape it as you would because you don't have a lot of mid high and volume tone controls on there but uh, you can still get a lot by just using the tone pots on your guitar yeah, and uh, so that way you don't need to go to the amp you can just kind of shape the tone straight from your guitar so from a simplicity standpoint, I, I think it's a just a really good amp. So that, that concludes the, the sound test. Uh, and uh, next I'll talk about some of my pros and cons of what I think about this build and some of my final thoughts. My impressions on this kit is uh, I think it's overall it's a, a very good kit. I think all, all my initial thoughts of the kit when we did the uh, video one of the unboxing and going through all the parts that held, held, still holds true. And I think this would be a great kit amp for anyone who's just learning how to build amp kits or maybe their first amp or just looking to try to get a hand-wired amp at a price point that's is, is probably about half to a third of what you would pay for for the same thing if it was built by a, a known builder such as Fender. Uh, so I think it's a really good kit. Uh, some of the pros, the step-by-step the instructions, step -step instructions make this kit extremely easy to follow along and, and I like the instructions so much that I, I actually plan on keeping these and I may use this kind of as a as a, if I try to build a, one of these amps uh, by just buying all the parts I, I may just use this just to follow along because it does make it so simple uh, the other thing oh for the most part all the parts and pieces seem to be very high quality the cabinet is very high quality everything seems to be high quality but leading into the, some of the cons, what I didn't like. Uh, the chassis, as we saw in video one, it uh, there were some rust spots. I, you know, no deal breakers. I, I mean, it's overall, I'd say the chassis was very well made, but you know, that could have been easily, easily uh, identified during quality control and uh, subbed out with one that wasn't, uh, didn't have any of those rust spots and if they all came off like that then maybe you know maybe switch suppliers that's a possibility but uh, I don't find that to be a huge deal uh, two things that were kind of a big deal uh, the wire so they gave you two spools of wire they gave you the yellow wire which carried all your signal it was a lighter gauge wire and they had a heavier heavier gauge green wire that um, was for your ground buses your ground wires and then also the filament windings going down to the 6v6 and the 12ax7 uh, they switched them out because I ended up having probably about another three feet of the yellow wire and I ran out of the green ground bus wire uh, when I completed the filament run coming off the pilot light down to the 6v6. Luckily I had a stash of the same wire from a previous amp build so it didn't impact me but if uh, you didn't have that you would have either been forced in, if, into two, one or two situations. Uh, use the rest of that lighter gauge wire to complete the filament runs 
which uh, aesthetically the colors aren't the same, which could make it very difficult uh, down the road for troubleshooting. If someone's wondering why you're using green up to the filaments and then yellow, you know, from the 12 a or between the 12 x 7 and 6 v 6. And then to, and uh, the second thing is it, it's a different gauge wire, or I don't think that would really matter that much, but uh, it is something that you're introducing, you know, increased resistance. So I, I don't know what impact that would have on, on introducing any hum or anything like that, it, uh, maybe none. Uh, the last thing, which uh, was almost a deal breaker for me, in which I had to stop filming and then go overnight between uh, the, on the last build day, uh, was because one of the ports where the, the, the wire from the 12x7 going into the socket was filled up with uh, a look like zinc plating so the, the connectors looked like they were anodized or some type of plating on it and, and it was clogged up and which didn't allow me to put the 12 ax7 into the tube socket uh, at first i thought i was going to have to stop the build order a new socket and then uh, resume when i got the new socket but uh i tr attempted and, and luckily it worked i took a small 1 16th drill bit and a very small very tiny uh almost about the same size as the drill bit, uh, hex bit, and was able to, between the drill bit, being very gentle with it, going in and cleaning that out, and uh, open it up enough to where I could get the tube, tube into its socket. Uh, so that, again, I don't know if that would have been preventable because they all come wrapped up, but uh, I'm sure there's a, cert a certain, you know, out every hundred of the sockets they make, there may be some access acceptable uh, def defects, you know, one or two, I just maybe just got unlucky, but between the ground wire not having enough and that tube socket, there's two potential flip points on this build that I would have had to stop and uh, reevaluate, re -evaluate, you know, how to proceed. Luckily, it didn't impact me. I was able to fix them, but for an average builder out there, this is their first kit, you know, that could, that could lead to some high frustrations. So my Overall thoughts and conclusions, uh, I still think this is a really good kit and I, I would probably buy another one of these in the future. Uh, but I would just say that anytime you buy a kit, whether it's from Stumac or, or somewhere else, uh, you're, you're always going to be le leading into those issues where you may have a bad tube socket or not enough wire. So if you do go lean into this, so keep that in the back of your head and uh, maybe if it's your first build, maybe you, you order a couple extra feet of wire just to give you some flexibility. You know, and, and I would start, you know, building a uh, parts bin. So if you have leftover parts and pieces from amp builds, definitely keep everything. And that way, uh, if you're going into, you know, uh, going to run into issues like the wire, you can go into your stash and uh, re rectify that. So this this is going to end this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I, I got some uh, other stuff teed up in the future. I'll be doing some videos on that to kind of show what's coming up next. Uh, if you've been along with, uh, watch the whole series that came along the whole journey, I really appreciate, appreciate you watching. And if you haven't already done so, please uh, think about subscribing. And if you've given me a like, and you know, I have uh, have no problems answering comments. If, if you're thinking about building this and have some questions, please feel free to comment on any of my videos and I'll gladly answer. Thanks for watching.